when you think of the word cap, this is most likely what comes to mind. Or maybe this, or even this. But today, we're gonna talk about some very different types of cats. Canada is home to three different wildcat species, the bobcat, the Canada lynx, and the cougar. These cats can be quite elusive creatures. So let's take a closer look. First up, the bobcat. Bobcats are the smallest of the wildcat species in Canada. They weigh between 10 and 30 pounds on average and are about two times the size of a typical house cat. Despite their small stature, bobcats are excellent hunters. As carnivores, they mainly prey upon hares, squirrels, voles, and birds, but can also take down small deer. Bobcats can often get confused for the Canada lynx, but there are a few small details that can help us tell the two apart. Bobcats are generally smaller than the Canada lynx, with both shorter legs and ear tufts. They also have a longer bob tail, which is how they get their name, and have a more distinctly spotted coat. Try looking at these two pictures. Can you tell which one is the bobcat? If you guess the one on the left, you got it. It can be hard to tell these two cats apart, especially without having them side by side. But a telltale sign is that the lynx has longer back legs and therefore its rear end sits higher up compared to the bobcat. Next up is the Canada lynx, which is the second largest wildcat in Canada. It weighs between 17 and 30 pounds on average. Lynx have long back legs and large furry paws, which act like snowshoes in the winter to help them move easily across the snow. Even though lynx have these long legs, they aren't the fastest runners. Despite not being the fastest though, Canada lynx are actually excellent predators. To catch prey, lynx will lie in wait and then pounce on their unsuspecting prey, sometimes waiting hours before catching a meal. Snowshoe hares are an extremely important food source for the Canada lynx, although they will eat small rodents, birds, and even sometimes caribou when hare can't be found. Trends have shown that when populations of snowshoe hare decrease, a decrease in Canada lynx populations can also be seen as well. Canada lynx are very elusive creatures, spending a lot of time in densely forested habitats and being mainly active at night. Even for trappers who have spent a lifetime in areas where lynxes are common, encounters with these predators are rare. Last up for our Canadian wildcats today is the cougar. Cougars go by many names including catamount, puma, and mountain lion, just to name a few. Cougars are much larger than the Canada lynx and the bobcat. Although their size and weight can vary significantly depending on where they live, on average they tend to weigh between 75 and 160 pounds. They have large muscular bodies and a long tail which can measure up to a meter in length and is extremely important for balance. A distinguishing feature for this cat is the black tip on the end of their tail. Cougars are a very adaptable species and can be found in a wide range of habitats, including grasslands, forests, prairies, and rainforests. They are also a very widespread species and can be found all across Western North America, as well as down into Mexico and across most of South America. Just like the bobcat and the Canada lynx, cougars are carnivores, meaning they only eat meat, and they are built for hunting. Keen eyesight, large paws, and sharp claws are just a few of the characteristics that make this cat a deadly hunter. Cougars are mostly ambush hunters, meaning they lie in wait to surprise their prey. Their strong back legs allow them to jump up to five and a half meters vertically and nine meters horizontally, allowing them to easily knock their prey off balance. Cougars mainly prey upon deer, but will also hunt animals such as elk, moose calves, and even bighorn sheep. The BC Wildlife Park is home to a bobcat and two cougars, so if you'd like to learn more about any of these amazing wildcats, make sure to come visit us. Hope to see you soon!